Um, today I'd like to just go over Frontier of Illinois, talk about Frontier in the state of Illinois and kind of how we operate. I'll talk about uh, Frontier at a nationwide level and then I'll get to the, uh, the important part of broadband expansion and how we're doing uh, expanding broadband. Uh, questions will hold to the end, so we won't do questions. So in Frontier of Illinois, we have, uh, we've, we've broken the territory up into eight general manager areas that are, you can see them by the, by the colors represented on the map. Um, we've got over 550 exchanges in the state. So an exchange may cover multiple communities, not all the times they do. So when I say 550 exchanges, it's probably upwards of 650 communities. Um, we have uh, approximately 550,000 subscribers in the state of Illinois. So if you do the quick math, you can see that we're primarily rural. There's not a lot of commons in our cities, so we kind of joke about that. Um, in attendance today, uh, we've got uh, Mike Flynn, who's the Senior Vice President and General Manager of the State of Illinois. Where are you, Mike? Mike's over there, so if you want to talk to Mike later on. Um, Daryl Sr. couldn't make it today. We put a lot of demands on our engineering department, and we had a conflict with this, we couldn't make it. Uh, we've got myself, General Manager of Southeast Illinois, a, kind of a light blue in the, in the bottom right, and then we've also got uh, Chris Kaler, who's our general manager for East Central Illinois. He's based out of Rantoul. So stand up, Chris, and show where we are. But from a nationwide perspective, Frontier is a pretty good sized organization. Um, we are on the SP 500 and uh, we're the Fortune 500 list of America's largest corporations. We've got 15,500 employees across the country, 3.41 million customers, and uh, we're over a five million dollar company with regards to revenue. Um, I, in my opinion, the most important bullet on this slide is in the bottom right. We're 100% US based workforce. We don't send any calls overseas. You pick up the phone and you call Frontier, you're probably going to get somebody you're hot. So we're really proud of that and we want to keep it that way. Uh, I just threw this in there so you can kind of get an idea of the scale of Frontier. We are a nationwide company. These are the states that we operate in. And then the good part, broadband expansion. So, as many of you probably know, Frontier acquired Verizon uh, landline service on July 1st, 2010. Um, we had a lot of work to do. Um, in 2010, it was mainly planning and discovery and figuring out how we're going to make this work. We turned up 19 new markets in 2010. 2011, uh, we hit the ground running and we turned up 73 additional markets. 2012, so far, as of last week, we've turned up 76, and we've probably got another 15 or 20 that we're going to get yet in December. So, you know, that's that's great news for the people of Illinois and um, for everybody, really. Uh, all in all, we've turned up an additional 168 central offices in Illinois with high-speed internet since July 1st, 2010. So we're really proud of that accomplishment, and we, you know, we just love the fact that we're able to do that. Um, when we install that new DSL, we've, we've got to get those customers to the internet somehow. And backbone is, is a real challenge, as, as all the providers in here know. Uh, to overcome that challenge, we're using our existing fiber infrastructure, which is extensive. We basically have fiber to every town that we serve in Illinois. There's only a handful that don't have fiber. But there's usually only four fibers, <laughs> as opposed to the 192 or 244 that the Illinois Century Network gave. We have four. So we've had to employ newer technologies like Rotom networks to really deliver the services that we need to. Rotom stands for Reconfigurable Optical Ad Drop Multiplexer. So it's a really technical term. Uh, basically, what we do is we shoot a whole bunch of different colors of light down the same piece of fiber, and then we have these Rotom switches that will optically switch the wavelengths of light from one transport node, transport node to another without converting it to electrical signals. So we actually switch lights instead of switching electronics, which very cool stuff. I wish I had more time to get into it and talk about it, but unfortunately I don't. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, throughout the state though, the, uh, you know, the number we're really proud of, over 98,000 additional customers are now eligible for high-speed service from Frontier than there were on July 1st, 2010. So that's the number we're very proud of. And uh, that's all I've got for today.